going to show you a little bit better what I was doing yesterday. So I put, just because she is kind of leery of going on place for some reason, I wanted to associate it with something that she really seems to like, which weirdly is the muzzle. She's like obsessed with it because it's essentially just a, a weird shaped food bowl to her. <laughs> so she dives her head in there and then she just keeps it in there. But in order to get to the muzzle, she's got to get on the place. Okay, free. Get it. Yes. more kibble. So you, you might actually find she has a better appetite if you work, um, have her work for her food. Hey! Yeah, sorry about that. Yes! Oh. You're welcome! Yes. All right. Because a lot of times dogs, they kind of want to turn it into a game. It's more fun if they work for their food. Yes! Collar, you have a couple different options. So there's a couple different things that you can do to make a behavior more likely. Um, so you can positively reinforce it with your food or with a toy or whatever. They're more likely to do things that they experience good feelings about. Or you can pressure them into the behavior. So say, if they want to, whoops, <laughs> what was that? Okay. So if you ask your dog to do a command, you basically, you put on the pressure of the e-collar as if, you know, you're pulling the leash towards you, that same kind of pressure on sort of thing. So you're basically pressuring them into the behavior. So the pressure is what brings on and activates the behavior. I, oh, you're the one that knocked it down there. <laughs> and then, so the release of the pressure is the reward. So you say the command, you put on the pressure, and then the dog is like, oh, okay, this is how I turn off the pressure. And then you can also do both. So you can pressure the dog into the command, you know, sit, butt goes on the ground, and then you positively reinforce. So that way, that's how you get the reliability plus that happy attitude and more likely to repeat those behaviors that you're, that you're creating in that way. Ready? So, sit. Yes. So I raise my hand when I put on the button, and then I put it down when, um, when I took off the button. Come. So I can just positively reinforce it. Yes. And the reason I throw food sometimes is 
just to get her to go farther away from me so I can ask her to come back to me or kind of reset. It's not actually really a behavior, it's just getting her to have some distance. And then so this would be the, the pressuring into a command. Come. So, you know, this is technically positive reinforcement, but I think it really helps 